Hey everybody, welcome to the Change of Thoughts Today Show. Welcome to another Monday. I totally love Mondays. Um, it's me, Stephen Aitchison, and the creator of PositiveLifeAffirmation.net, a program to help you change your beliefs to change your life. And today is Meditation Monday. Meditation Monday, if you've never done that before, we go through a guided meditation for you. And this is kind of beautiful images um, with a video, and it's me doing a kind of guided meditation live for you. And this one is all about staying positive. It's about having a positive attitude in life. Not about forgetting the negative stuff that goes on in life. We know all the shit that goes on in life. But this is about developing a positive attitude um, in general. And it totally changes your energy. I'm just moving this over a wee bit. Totally changes your energy and how you go about things and your attitude to life as well. And it's been proven that for health reasons, being more positive um, helps your health as well in all areas of your health and I think there's one study done that um, people who have a positive mental attitude um, live longer for living seven live seven years longer than people who are kind of generally negative I don't know how to do these kind of studies but that's a study um, that I read about uh, I think that was last year um, so I don't know how they kind of develop these kind of studies long term kind of thing but um, I'm quoting it anyway because <laughs> it just proves the point. So just this is all about developing the attitude. Okay, so before we get on with the guided meditation, I want to tell you about we've got um, 13 hours left to get yourdigitalformula.com um, at the kind of special price we've got at just now. And 13 hours time is, going, is almost doubling in price because it is worth so much more than it is just now. But we're kind of giving it away just now just as a special offer because we're doing webinars and promoting it, myself and Maria, and a few of the other YDF members as well. So if you're not in the YDF tribe, just now remember and join up. There's a link above this video, or just above the comments, depending on how you're watching this video. So if you've got a Facebook page or any kind of social media presence, and you want to grow your presence online to help thousands of more people in the world, we're going to help you do that. And um, we've got brand new modules in there. I'm transferring everything over to a brand new platform, and I'm just finishing off the modules in there just now and trust me it's going to be worth the investment or the small investment that you make on this and if you go over to that link you can get a replay for a webinar even if you don't buy it, you'll get brilliant information on that webinar as well and I also want to share a link with you for Maria Flynn Maria Flynn's going to get a new ebook coming out from junk to freedom is it junk to freedom and um, it's called Maria junk to freedom which I love that title um, so I'm going to give you a link for that as well if you join a Good Vibe Tribe. You'll get that tomorrow morning at 11am Eastern Time. So you're just putting the finishing touches on that just now. So Maria didn't know I was going to do that um, for her, but I'll give you a link to Maria's ebook as well. That's a brilliant ebook. You're going to love it. Um, and she's had kind of help with that, just kind of reading through it from Laura Joanna. I know yeah, and you kind of looked over it as well. Uh, Laura, so that's great that you've done that for Maria as well. So we're going to put a link up to that for you as well after the guided meditation. Um, what else have we been up to? I've not been up to much. Well, I have been up. I went to see my family this weekend, which was brilliant. I always like to see my kind of mum and dad. My mum and dad. Me and Sharon went over on a Saturday, and yesterday I was working on your digital formula again, and we were just doing things around the house and just kind of laying like broccoli because we're. We're so tired um, and we just like to chill out on a Sunday night, just cuddling up on the couch and just chilling out watching TV and just generally talking about kind of the week and what's going to happen the next game week. So that's what we were doing at the weekend um, and my son was away to Aaron and he took some amazing pictures in Aaron as well and I was going to use one of the videos for that because um, he took a video kind of of the rivers and the hills in Aaron as well which is a small Scottish island. Um, and it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I might use that next week for next week's guided meditation. So, the guided meditation. This is going to chill you out for about 20 minutes. Hopefully it's going to relax you and get you into a positive frame of mind, which is going to last throughout the whole day for you. So even if you um, kind of do this, listen to it for today, then come back, listen to it tomorrow, or come back and listen to another guided meditation, you can get and um, watch the replays of the guided meditations there as well. So, 
Um, I'm just wondering if we've got any questions before we go on. Nina Blankenberg, I know you've just joined the YDF tribe. Fantastic. We're just going to think Maria's just welcomed you in. I'll just put a comment when I get time after this. Um, I love nature and took a long drive to see the colours this weekend. Totally love nature as well and it's brilliant to get out into, na out into nature. And that's what my son Bradley did as well. He was out in nature. While my other son, he was out kind of drinking at the weekend, having a good time, being a party party animal with his girlfriend. So that's what they were that's what they were doing. Um I don't know why I'm telling you about my family, but just I just like to talk about my family. So yeah, there you go, that's what everybody was up to the weekend. So I'm wondering if you have any questions before we start today's guided meditation. I'm in a talkative mood. Um and I don't really want to do the guided meditation, I just want to talk, but we're not going to talk. We're going to do the guided meditation. So I'm just wondering if you have any um, questions first before we go on. About anything, anything at all, uh, about personal development, about anything. And I'll try and answer a couple of questions before. Um, Ahmed has got a question. How do you deal with suffering from double cultures? Double cultures. If I'm being honest, I don't have much dealings with double cultures. And by that, I presume you're talking about um, your, your family and there's two different types of cultures in there. And I think it's coming to a compromise, just like any type of relationship. You've got to come to some kind of compromise and set boundaries in there as well. Ahmed, I think that's what you mean. Um, correct me if I'm wrong um, when I'm talking about double cultures. But it's about sitting down and talking. And obviously, you've come together for a reason as well. It's kind of trying to figure out that reason um, as well. Um, so sitting down, talking, setting boundaries and always paying attention to each other as well and mind, be mindful of each other's boundaries as well. So it's compromise in there just like any relationship. Every single relationship you have in your life, it's all about compromise to a degree as well. Um, so Ahmed is saying I'm born in Belgium but Muslim. Yeah, but it's again, it's about respecting each other's cultures and just kind of coming to some kind of compromise within yourself and the people around about you as well. Um, so I hope that helps to a degree. Um, Nina's saying I'll pray for the double cultures. I know this is hard. I'm thinking of you. Okay, so I'm going to get on. There's not many questions just now, so I'm going to get on with the guided meditation today. So I'll just crack on with that. It's going to last about 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and see if you've got any questions after. Okay, let's go on with it just now. In this guided meditation, you will learn to think more positively about yourself and about life in general. Positive thinkers have been shown to be more healthy, more successful in business and in life in general. And having a positive attitude in life attracts others to you that can help you reach your goals in life. Just like anything else, positive thinking is a learned skill and sometimes it can be difficult to remain positive with the barrage of news we have on TV, radio and the newspapers. In this guided meditation, you will learn to become a much more positive thinking person. And now, get into a comfortable position in a chair, with arms resting lightly on your lap and feet on the floor. Allow your body to begin to relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Take a cleansing breath in through your nose and breathe out the tension in your body through your mouth. Now, bring your awareness to your feet and feel the warmth as you begin to relax. It might feel like stepping into a warm bathtub, or it may feel like a tingling sensation. Allow the relaxation to spread over your feet and up to your ankles. 
Feel this peaceful energy rising above your ankles, flowing up to your lower legs, and on to your knees, continuing on up to your thighs. Allow this warm glow to continue to spread throughout your body, rising now to your hips and pelvic area. Your lower body is now very, very relaxed. Let this feeling rise up to your stomach and lower back, and to your chest and upper back. You can feel your body loose and heavy as you let all tension go. Let your upper arms relax, your elbows and lower arms and your wrists. Feel the warm glow of relaxation spread to your hands, relaxing the palms of your hands and the backs of your hands and each finger and thumb. Your hands feel pleasantly warm, heavy and relaxed. Feel your body relaxing further as the area by your collarbone widens and relaxes. Allow your shoulders to drop and let any tension go. Allow your upper back to relax even further. Let your shoulders relax and your neck. Let this energy continue to spread to your chin, the back of your head, your mouth, your cheeks, nose and eyes. Your eyelids are heavy now, but you stay focused and mentally alert as you feel deeply, deeply relaxed. Notice your eyebrows relaxing, your ears relaxing, and focus your attention on your forehead as you let all tension go. Your forehead feels cool and relaxed. And let this relaxation spread further to the top of your head. Your entire body is now very, very relaxed. You feel calm and at peace with yourself. And now, take a deep breath in through your nose and hold that breath. Relax your muscles totally allowing the breath to flow gently out of your mouth. Take another deep breath in through your nose, breathing in relaxation, and release the breath through your mouth, and breathe out any remaining tension. Continue to breathe smoothly and slowly as you mentally scan your body, looking for any remaining tension. If you notice any tension, just focus on that area. Direct the relaxation to flow into that area, and then carry the tension away. Imagine that the air you are breathing can cleanse your body and remove tension. Picture the tension in your body, picture the tension in your body, leaving with each breath out. Now simply relax, calmly enjoying the feeling of relaxation for a few moments. For the next few minutes, Give yourself permission to enjoy this peaceful experience. You are free from all your responsibilities at this time. So put aside any thoughts of tasks or concerns that may be waiting for you. 
If you find that your mind wanders during this meditation, simply bring back your awareness to the sound of my voice and I will guide you to a place of deep relaxation and inner stillness. Remember that you are always in control. If you wish to stop at any time, you can do so by simply opening your eyes. As I speak, just allow the images to form in your mind naturally and in your own time. If mental pictures don't come easily to you, then simply sense your imagined surroundings rather than seeing them. Let go of all your expectations and allow yourself to experience this guided journey in whatever way comes naturally to you. And now, imagine you're walking through a beautiful field of grass high up in the mountains. The sun shines on you and warms you all over as a cool breeze gently flows over you, making your body feel the perfect temperature. The birds sing as they fly overhead, swooping in and out of the invisible currents in the air. You feel alive in the fresh air, energetic and happy to be out in this beautiful setting. You follow a path to the peak of the nearest mountain and you gently stroll along at your own pace, just enjoying this amazing scenery. At the peak, you see someone sitting just looking out over the mountain from the other side. A little curious, you walk a little faster, eager to see who's enjoying this experience with you. As you get closer, you see that it is an old man sitting on a rock at the peak, and you say hello to him. The old man turns around, and you see that he has a wise face and a warm smile for you, and he says hello back. He advises you that he has been waiting for you. You smile, a little taken aback and ask him why. To help you, of course, he says. You wish to be more positive, yes? You nod as you sit down beside him. He notes that you seem happy and positive just now. You advise him that you're happy on your own and you have no worries or concerns and just when you're around a lot of people and in a place of work or somewhere that seems to put you under pressure. The old man smiles as if he knows exactly what you're talking about. He advises you that everyone has an energy field around them and this energy field can be penetrated by people who are positive and people who are negative. Negative people suck your energy dry until you feel in a negative state yourself. And it's best to avoid these people if you can, he says. He also advises you that the people who are extremely positive about life and who take action on their positivity can lift your energy to help you become more positive. He asks you if you know people who are positive and negative. You smile and nod your head. The old man asks you to close your eyes just now and think of two people, one negative and the other positive, and to pay close attention to how you feel as you interact with these people. Do this now for a few minutes, imagining yourself interacting with someone who is negative, and then interacting with someone who is positive.
as you finished thinking about these two people and paid close attention to how they made you feel. You relay this information back to the old man. The old man nods and says there is a way to lock in your positivity. You eagerly ask how to do this. He asks you to think of a time when you were extremely positive about yourself and your life and try to remember everything you can about this time. The way you spoke, how you interacted with people, how you walked, etc. Just remember everything you can of a time when you felt extremely positive. Do this now for a few seconds. The man then gently asks you to open your eyes. As you do, you see that you are surrounded by a bubble. A giant, clear bubble. You can see outside and see the old man as he smiles. He tells you that this mental bubble will protect you from any negative energy, but will let in positive energy to boost you. All you have to do is think of a time when you were extremely positive about life, and then go inside this mental bubble and protect yourself. He advises you that if you go inside this bubble three times a day, morning, afternoon and night, you will see a dramatic difference in your life over the next few weeks. He then advises you to try and fill this bubble with lots of tiny positive energy bubbles by thinking as positively as you can about yourself and others and in life in general. He asks you to do this now. Take a few moments to try and fill this bubble with lots of positive energy bubbles. And as you open your eyes in the bubble, you see the old man has gone. You feel alive, energetic and extremely positive about life. And now it's time to wake from this meditation. Know that the more you visit this meditation, the more you develop a positive outlook on life. Think about the bubble for 30 days, every morning, afternoon and at night and feel the difference it makes in your life. As I count from five to one, you awake feeling confident, alert and full of energy. 
five, still very relaxed and calm. Four, you start to move your body in preparation for waking. Three, still relaxed but more alert, your mind is awakening to a new sense of control. Two, open your eyes and gently stretch your body. And one, you are now wide awake with a deep sense of control over your own mind. You can now go about your day, knowing that you are starting on a new journey, one where you are positive and hopeful about the future, and one where you see good in people and the world around you. Use this positive energy to take positive action to reach your goals in life, and visit this meditation often to strengthen this feeling of positivity. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that guided meditation. I'm just going to go back into Facebook. If you just bear with me a wee second, see if you've got any questions or um, just give me your comments and feedback on that. Uh, Sophie Montgomery is saying thank you. Thank you, that was wonderful. Linda, uh, Mr. Defrino, thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate it and hopefully it's just chilled you out for the week. I always like to do this on a Monday because it's nice and relaxing for the week ahead and it's quite cool um, as well. It's brilliant writing these kind of scenarios as well, these guided visualizations or the guided meditations. And um, thank you very much. The best, best rest in a long time. That's Vigdis, is that right? Vigdis Leisted. And um, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate you listening. I'm um, just wondering if you've got any questions. Uh, Annie Skinner, thank you. You're awesome. Oh, thank you very much for that. Um, thank you, really helpful. Um, Melanie Aduma, Adama, that was awesome. So you're still enjoying the guided meditations on a Monday, which is brilliant, so keep on doing them. We're going to be doing something else. I'm looking for software just now. Um, you've seen on Friday, myself and Maria Flynn did an interview together, but my kind of video was very choppy, so we're looking for software to be able to do interviews on Fridays. So I'm going to try and get some amazing people on for a Friday interview and do something like that on the Facebook Lives as well. So if you can suggest anybody that you would like to see interviewed, anybody at all, and I mean anybody and I'll try and get them on the show and try and find a way to do the, the Facebook Live with an interview with um, some software. I think I can do it on the software I've got just now. Um, but it's tough to kind of do it on Skype and do a kind of live at the same time. And I don't know how that would work. Um, so, yeah, um, Nina Blankenberg saying, yes, I love the guided meditations. Brilliant. I'm glad you're still enjoying them, Nina. And again, welcome to the YDF tribe. I think you're absolutely going to love it in there and everybody's going to love you as well. Gina Sendef, um, love that idea for interviews. Interview Eva Orsano. Brilliant. First one, Bryant McGill. I would love to interview Brian. I've spoke to him on Skype a couple of times and um, he's he's an excellent person to speak to. Mitch Albin um, would be great. He wrote, um, what was the book? Some Con Conversations from Heaven or something? No, it's um, Tuesdays with Maury. That was it. Tuesdays with Maury. And he's wrote another book as well. Awesome. That sounds awesome. Fabulous Fridays. Fabulous Fridays. There we go. Fabulous Fridays. And um, that's the name of the show on Friday once we get that up and running. Thanks for that, Don Adams Bowen. Uh, hello from Wales, Steve. Suzanne Probert. Um, Maria Flynn, Terry Cole. Terry Cole would be another great person to interview as well. Um, thanks for that suggestion. So if you can think of anybody, just tell me anybody you'd like to see interviewed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them, but um, once we get the show up and running, I'm sure people will come to the show and they would like to be interviewed. Deepak Chopra came in. I'd love to interview um, Deepak. He'd be amazing. Um, terrific Tuesdays. Angry Therapist, can't recall his name. John Kim is his name, Gina. Angry Therapist, he would be another amazing guest. I've seen his live shows as well. So I might try and get John Kim 
on the show as well. Oh, excellent. I'm just going to keep on doing this. You're giving me all the suggestions here. Um, this is brilliant. Um, so Angry Therapist, we've got Terry Cole, Deepak Chopra, um, Bryant McGill, Eva Sano. Excellent. So we've got some really good suggestions there. Um, so that's what I'll do on Fridays. I don't know how long it's going to take to organise this um, before I get this kind of software, a good piece of software where, where I can um, interview people. Because we tried the BeLive.tv. I tried that on Friday, but my kind of video was sticking. Chris Carr would be another good one, Gina. Thanks for that. Chris Carr. She would be another good one, actually. Be excellent. Okay, you're not mentioning yourself, Gina. What about yourself for an interview as well? I think you'd be an amazing guest um, as an interviewee. Um, Jerry Hicks has passed on, K Mooney. And there's 21 days meditation started today from Deepak Chopra. That's from Ursula Drexic. I've never actually seen that, Ursula, so I might check that out from Deepak. So if you can think of anybody else you'd love to have on a Friday interview, so Fantastic Friday Interviews is the name of the show. Uh, I'd love to anytime, says Gina. Okay, you're booked. <laughs> you're booked on. We'll need to get you on as a guest as well. That would be fantastic. Um, so anybody else you can think of, just leave a comment. If you're watching the replay, just leave a comment as well. And share this video as well. Just share the guided meditation and people, other people can suggest other guests to have on the show as well. And um, that would be fantastic. Okay. Hope you are nice and relaxed. And remember, there's only 13 hours to go to get into the YDF tribe. You're not going to be able to get into this place again. So join Nina, Maria, um, Gina, who's in as well. We've got loads of people in. Um, I don't know if anybody else is in that's watching. Helen is in as well. So there's loads of people in the YDF tribe. I think we've got 250 members now. So if you want to join the YDF tribe and at the same time, Grow your presence online, grow your Facebook page and transform your business. There's only 13 hours to go to get in this price. And remember, I'm going to give you the link to Maria Flynn's book, Junk to Freedom, which is going to be excellent. You're going to love that. So I'll send you the link over to join a Good Vibes Tribe and you can sign up for that. And she's going to send you out the link for the ebook tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is going to be brilliant. You're just going to love that as well. Okay, I'm going to leave you just now. I hope you have a, an amazingly fantastic day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you tomorrow round about the same time. Now, remember, I'm an hour behind, so I'm kind of early today. It's only because the clocks went back on Sunday morning um, here in the UK, but yours will go back wherever you are uh, in the world. Or if you're in America or anywhere else, yours will go back as well next week, I believe. And I think Europe has already went back. So... I'll see you tomorrow round about this time again. Have a brilliant day. Namaste. Take care.